Wagwan, welcome to the DIY Yardy channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. In this video, I'm working on the Emery 4 draw dresser assembly. Alright, so it's the Emery 4 draw dresser, or it's also called a Merrywood home. Alright, so these are the parts uh, screws and other hardware all the pieces that goes along with it. It looks like a lot but once you get into it you know everything is, um, is uh, alf alphabetical all the each pieces of board is um, has a letter associated with it so you know it's easy to follow. So the tools you'll need is a flat screwdriver a Phillips head screwdriver and a hammer alright so beginning I, I start with the top board which is a C board which is the top the top the very top board on the dresser alright so these bolts are the cam bolts and they're gonna go one to each the, the far corner the holes provided to the four corner of the board one each and uh, uh, quick thing to make it easier on this job the cam bolts hole are smaller than what's called a wood dowel or it's a pin basically it's a, the little piece of wood that hole it will just slide right in the hole provided for it where the, the um, cam bolts have to be screwed in now I'm using uh, electric drill and I'm not going to recommend if you're not if you're not um, you know familiar with using a drill I wouldn't say to use the drill because you can actually end up drilling this bolt all the way through the wood to the other side alright so I use a drill because I know how to gauge it you know best use a regular screwdriver if you're not familiar with using a drill alright so got the got the bolts in so the next piece we're doing is called the safety bracket alright now this bracket is something they started doing recently to secure furniture to the wall what this does it prevents tip over from little kids climbing up on on these you know little kids would climb up and you now you can imagine there's a TV on top of this thing or full with clothes and they're climbing up and it tips over and it ends up hurting you know these little you know could be serious alright so basically that is to anchor it to the wall to prevent tip over alright so from there we're gonna get this other piece attached alright so we're gonna do K we're gonna attach K to D alright and we're going to use the angle brackets. This is K. And they're already the holes are already pre-drilled. Okay? So there are four brackets. And the the type of screw that attaches this is called a pan head, all right? There are two types there are two types of screws you'll see there. There's a pan head and a flat head. All right? The pan head is a more kind of rounded head screws while the flat head is just flat plain flat alright so I got that so now I'm attaching my top board to one of my sideboards the sideboards are A and B alright so this is a B board that I'm attaching my top to right now alright so I'm inserting the um, cam lock and on the cam lock you'll see it has a little pointer that points to the to the cam bolt you you insert it with the pointer pointing to the cam bolt and then you turn it turn that pointer in the opposite direction away to lock it all right so now what i'm doing is the cabinet members these are what the drawer slides on all right and i'm using the flat screws or the flat head screws and each one of these gets four screws and like I said the holes are already pre-drilled so all you have to do is put them in place and put the screws in okay see 
two screws up front, one in the middle, and one to the rear. Okay? So this is the B side. Okay, and this this is what the drawer will slide back and forth on. Okay? So next, after the B side, we go to the A side, and it's pretty much the same thing, you know? The pins, the um, drawer members, everything goes together the same way. A and B, the same, it's like the same thing. Alright? So, remember I said the pins, these, these wooden dowels, they just slide in. If, if you're trying to put them in the hole and it's not going in, then it doesn't belong there. Okay? The, the dowel will go right in, no problem. The smaller holes are for the cam bolts. Okay? And remember the cam bolts, you only tighten them down to where the, when the threads stop, you stop tightening there. Okay? You don't go beyond where the thread stops. There's like a little shoulder there, you'll see it. Okay, we got B together. Now, this is D, which is the bottom, and I'm going to attach the bottom board onto B. Okay, so you're going to put it on over the uh, cam bolt and the, the um, wood dowels. Okay, you line it up and push down in place. And then you're going to get cam locks to lock it in place. Alright, so little arrow on top. Okay, make that arrow point down. And you push it in. If, if you know, you're putting it in like the hair and it sticks, just kind of twist it back and forth and push. And it should go right in. There you go. Okay. And then you tighten it. That little arrow is going to point up. That little pointer should point up away from the cam bolt. All right, that's that's when you know it's in properly. All right. All right. So this is a center support board, which is J. That goes from left to right, from the left left side to the right side and there's one one uh, cam bolt on each side and one wood dowel okay put that in place then there's the rear that, that board in the back that's also a support board which is the rear lower okay and that's board E. Okay. That also has uh, uses a cam bolt, two cam bolts, one on each side. Okay, same thing. The pointer points towards the bolt and away from the bolt once it's tightened. Turn it clockwise to tighten, counterclockwise to loosen. What you try to do is, whenever you assemble, you try to tighten everything step by step as you assemble, you go along. That way, you don't leave anything out or something missing or undone. Okay? Clockwise to tighten. And that one next. Alright. So now this is the bottom. And I have I have it laying on the back. So I can get to these bottom ones. Okay, so this is the bottom of D that I'm tightening, um inserting and tightening right now. clockwise until the pointer points away from the bolt. Okay. Now we're going to stand it up. 
so you can see what it looks like. Well, well let me put these two first. Those are the top top left all right that's it standing up that's what it looks like okay but I have to lay it down because I have to put some support on the rear this is labeled letter L and this is like uh, for structural support and it's called the back panel okay letter L and it has uh, holes already provided in it all you have to do is line it up on the, the top half of the um, dresser and the nails are provided and you just hammer them in alright once you line it up correctly on top of the dresser you'll see all the holes and all the nails are already provided alright so easy easy you know nothing you should be able to should cause you to make a mistake because you can see that there's a slot where the little uh, hanker um, part is provided it will go right around there there's an opening there for it alright so next we're doing the drawers putting the drawers together being that we have the frame or the body of the dresser complete now we start the installation of the drawers alright so you're gonna put the G G together with these little plastic brackets alright so the G are the size of the drawers and those connect to F which is the front of the front of the drawer alright so before you tighten this down you want to make sure that these lines are all aligned the line on the on F and the line on G is aligned okay because the bottom the bottom plate for the drawer has to sit in that slot and if the if the lines aren't aligned it won't lock in place correctly okay so get that tightened down and there's also a support um, there's a support board that goes in the middle where you see those two holes in the middle there at the, at the lower part um, I didn't get it in the video on on this clip but I'll show you on the next clip alright but get these screws in the, in, the pla in the bracket the plastic brackets and and these are the pan head screws also the rounded head screws not the flat one the, f the flat screws are used to secure the um, the drawer you know um, sliders all right so this is the bottom of the drawer and this is what goes in the slot and the bottom the bottom of the drawer is H all right So now you're going to insert in those holes on the side, those white clips, that's called a driver fastener. Okay, or drive drive fastener, sorry. Alright, and these you just tap in place with a hammer. So I'm actually supporting the other side of the drawer with my leg. Okay, I'll, I'll show you in a second where the way I do it is put my leg against it and tap okay and you don't have to tap very hard just you know tap gently it'll go in go in no problem all right so this is this is where I'm telling you that uh that that piece of board the M it's it goes below the drawer it's like an extra support I guess let's say you have something heavy in the drawer it'll help to support from the bottom of the drawer falling out basically okay so these screws here are for the handles of the drawer okay or they're called handle brackets I guess is what it's called and they're about an inch long each 
so they go through the two holes at the front of the drawer okay and then you connect the bracket to those screws Okay, so you just line it up with that hole and then there and you screw them in. And remember you know you don't tighten down on these things too much you just tighten until it's snug and then you stop because uh, the screw will either keep going until it come out the other side you know because it's it's a metal screw going into a plastic or wood so once it hits the wood and it's snug, you stop. Okay, don't keep going. Now this step I'm showing you from the installation guide. I couldn't find the footage that I did. Okay, so this is the drawer members that connect to the bottom of the drawers with the flathead screws and they install just in that manner there. Okay that's to enable the drawers to slide in and out alright now this is a complete guide remember to attach it to the wall alright for security reasons safety reasons and bless up this is DIY Yardy